All right, time to start rehearsal. Has everyone memorized their lines? I have, Miss Oliver. Yes, Jasper. And suddenly, there's an angel of the multitude from the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Really, Jasper? Are you just trying to scare us now? Now you know what the shepherds felt. Really? Shepherds? What shepherds? I thought you said it was a baby. Hold tight, Maddie. We will get to the part about the shepherds. Really? And Mary and Joseph's amazing journey? And what about the wise men? I mean, really, you can't tell the story without the wise men. Of course, the wise men, Gavin. But most importantly, the joy of the world. The really, really good news of... Candy canes! Ah! Really, Jasper? I think someone had a few too many candy canes already. I'm just getting ready for the really, really, really good news. Okay, everyone, let's get started. everyone. We've got to keep moving with this dress rehearsal. Wise men, Mary and Joseph. Oh, hi, Christy. I'll be with you in just a moment. Is it really? Really, really. Okay, Christy, what is it? I love you. Uh, I love you too. Now go get in your place. Chorus, are you ready for our next number? Go tell the story. Yes, Miss Oliver. Oh, I love the story. Santa and Rudolph saving Christmas. Really? I don't think Mary and Joseph's donkey didn't have a glowing red nose to guide them to Bethlehem. Actually, Jasper, she's talking about the Christmas story. You mean with the one with the baby, the wise men, and the candy canes? Yes, minus the candy canes, of course. Before baby Jesus was born, and even before Mary and Joseph took their journey to Bethlehem, God had this story all planned out from the very beginning of time.
excited, but we would love for you and the Christmas spirit to come join us. I love you, Miss Oliver. Thank you, Christy. You've really got to go back to your place now. Oh, really? Really, really. So let me get this straight. Mary gives birth to baby Jesus, and that's it? That's it? That's it? Oh, yeah, sure. A band of angels burst out of the sky and scared the shepherds half to death, and the most important person in the history of the world is born. Yeah, that's it. No big deal. Hey, Gavin, remember there was a time not too long ago where someone had to tell you the story, too. That's right. And yes, Maddie, there's a lot more to this story. God did send angels, and the shepherds were afraid. But God also gave them faith to, know, to let them know that something wonderful had happened that very night. In Luke 2.11, it says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You'll find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. appeared and we 
tabii ki. Yes, Christy, I know you really love me, and I really love you, too. Oh, really? <laughs> Would someone mind helping Christy to the restroom? Oh, I'm Miss Oliver. Yes, Christy? I really love you. <laughs> so when do we get the story about the three wise guys? My brother was telling me about how they filled their backpacks with french fries and burgers and juice. And got in the you know, Nina, Pinta, and Santa Maria, the father of a really big star. You mean like a really big star, like Elsa Bon Jovi? Bon Jovi? Yeah, they were really living on prayer. But um, <laughs> uh, you're thinking about Christopher Columbus, and they didn't have burgers and fries back then. The wise men p packed protein bars and six sour energy drinks. Uh, not exactly. The wise men followed a really big star in the sky, and it led to Baby Jesus. <laughs> and Jasper, remind me to talk to your older brother. you all have a really good handle on the real Christmas story. I'm so proud of all of you for teaching each other about the really good news of Jesus sent by God to save the world. It's really amazing to think that God will send his only son for me. He really did. Not only for you, Maddie, but for everyone who believes in him. Really? Even Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> really? You're so funny. Yes, everyone. Now that you understand the true Christmas story, let's spread the really, really, really good news to the rest of the world. Yes, Miss Oliver!